faraway look in her eye, Lily looks at her maid uniform with a contemptuous look, fixes her hair, and stands still. The things girls have to stoop down to, literally. Ugh. Maybe I don't need to go through with this. Maybe I'm being too Oops. hard. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was occupied. We'll just have to go somewhere else, Jakey. Let's go. Come. Oh, uh, Ashley, what are you doing here? This isn't what it looks like. Sorry, Mr. Jake. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Jake walks over to his room, utterly confused. He passes by his butler, who gives him a smile. He picks up his cell phone and calls a number. Ashley, hi. How how are you? Hi, babe. I was just thinking about you. I miss you. Yeah, yeah. I miss you too, Ash. Say, what are you up to? What do you think? I've just finished one meeting and I'm going over to the next. Being your own boss and running a multi-billion empire is not fun. When can we meet? How about tomorrow? Yes, Jake. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. The weather is so lovely. I'm glad we're having a picnic. And I love having you all to myself in this nook. Hey, what's wrong? You're not bored of me, are you? (laughs) Bored of you? I asked my butler to pack a delicious meal. Never ever. Although, I'm trying to decide if you're playing a prank on me. What do you mean? Were you at my house yesterday in a maid's outfit? Jake, have you lost your mind? What kind of a question is that? Well, my mom hired a new maid and she looked exactly like you. For a second, I thought it was you. You guys could be twins. Babe, trust me. If I had a twin, she wouldn't be a maid. I have far too much money. His mind at ease for the time being, Jake and Ashley continue their date. Oh, honey, what's wrong? Lily is crying with red-rimmed eyes when Mrs. Anderson comes across her. I'm sorry, Mrs. Anderson. I I didn't mean to disturb you. You can tell me, dear. (laughs) I've been evicted out of my apartment. I don't have any place to go and I don't know what to do. I didn't have a lot to begin with and now I'm out on the street. Honey, shh. I'll send Jake over to your apartment with you. And you bring your things over to our house. This is too big of a house for just us. You can take up the spare room, and don't you dare resist. Jake? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Please start the car. You help Lily move her things to our apartment. You know, I have a girlfriend, and she looks exactly like you. The girl in your house didn't look anything like me. Not her. My girlfriend, Ashley. She's been around a few times. You guys could be twins. Uh, No, I'm sorry. I don't have a twin sister. I just had a falling out with my family, who were quite well off. So I'm just trying to make ends meet. Lily begins to cry and looks so innocent that Jake wraps her in his arms. The two stay like that for a while until Lily looks up. They share a passionate kiss. Oh, you have a girlfriend? I shouldn't have. No, 
After what she's done to you, she deserves payback. The two drive off. A few weeks pass by, Jake and Lily grow closer together while he continues seeing Ashley. He begins falling in love with Lily. Mom, I'm going out with Ashley tonight. I might be home late. Is that a new girlfriend? Have fun. Mom, I've been dating her for a few weeks now. I've brought her home a few times as well. Um, maybe I missed something. Anyway, you better get going. Hi. I can't do this. I know what you did to your twin sister. I can't be with someone who is so callous. I'm an only child, Jake. What is wrong with you? Are you high? Cut the crap, Ashley. You're a selfish girl and a liar. I'm leaving. Jake seems worked up, and his confusion increasing. Hey, Lily, how are you? Can we talk? Um, sure. Well, I did it. I broke up with your sister. We can be together now. Sorry? I don't have a sister, sir. Are you okay? Are you drunk? Ashley! Your twin sister who threw you out! She's got the reign to your family business? With every word, Jake's volume increases, alerting his mother, who comes to see what all the ruckus is about. Mom, come on! You know my girlfriend Ashley, right? She's twin sisters with Lily, and now Lily is lying! Jake, honey, come on. No, why are all of you lying to me? Lily has a twin sister, and she told me about it when I helped her move. I've been dating both of them. I have pictures! Well, good morning, sunshine. Where am I? Do you know who I am? What? Uh, Of course I know who you are. What's my name? You are... Ah! (laughs) What is this pain? What did you do to me? I I know you, but I can't remember your name. What's happening? My name is Lily, and I'm a nurse. The good news is that you almost recalled my name correctly. To you, I've been Olivia, Jessica, Amber, Camilla, Mia, Ava, and so much more, and I can keep naming for the next 24 hours. But this time you almost recalled my name, and that is good news. What? Hi, Jake. I'm Dr. Anderson. We've been taking care of you for the last three years. You lost your parents and siblings after a family corporate announced bankruptcy. Unfortunately, your dad couldn't take it and he decided to kill you all, including himself by leaving the gas tap opened when everyone went to sleep. You are alive because... That night you decided to sneak out to meet your girlfriend. And when you came back home, you found all of them dead. That scene caused you a great deal of shock. And you've been here with us ever since then. No, no, no! This is impossible! I have a girlfriend named Ashley. My, my, my mom is, is alive. What are you talking about? I was with them a few hours ago before I woke up here. My butler, he... he I'm sure my butler is downstairs waiting for me. I promise you, he, he, he knows everything. No, you have to... 
have to believe me. My butler will tell you. He's standing right behind you. Oh my. Nurse Lily, load the heliperidol. He's calling his delirious roommate his butler. I'm afraid it's a bleak road ahead for Jake. 